Hello, good evening, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Yannick, I'm the French guy from Switzerland. And uh, well, it's been a while since I've done this thing, so I hope I can. Uh, I, I, know, I hope I can find the, my way through every scenes and stuff I have on OBS. Good evening, as uh, the title of this stream says, um, I'm going to try and recreate something that I did earlier this week with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I just uh, discovered, um, I, I had heard about uh, DaVinci Resolve, but I just downloaded it and installed it uh, this week. I played with that and I did a little video, uh, kind of a, a joke, a little um, a vintage looking video for um, Ubuntu on Air and the Office Hours with Monica and Reese. And I'm going to try and redo that from memory live on this stream because I th I thought it, it it's really a simple, really short video, but it involved uh, some of 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 the the the, the basic stuff from DaVinci Resolve and more specifically from the the Fusion module. So we're gonna uh, have a look at that. Um, I'm going to try and show you the video if I can. I'm not sure it's going to work. I believe I have some modification to make to my scene. So that's the that's the um, the blank screen. I just need to change something. I'm going to cut the bidding music because there are the sound on this video. So uh, let's try that. Let's try and see if this is working. You should be seeing the video, but well, you don't have the. Uh, I don't have the idea. You should have the idea. Thank you, the idea. Yes. So BS told me you had the audio. Let's go back to a view where we have some music and some. So yeah. So you had sound and picture. Great. Great. So that's the uh, the short video we're going to try and recreate. Uh, as I said, from memory, I didn't take any notes, um, and I really didn't prepare this stream. So hopefully, you know, maybe I'm going to make some mistake, but uh, hey, that's that's the way it goes. Now, um, I usually so <laughs> yes, uh, the theme, yeah, I did the theme. <clears throat> uh, I, I, I'm uh, trying to find a way to present how I did the theme. Uh, it's not easy because the theme is on OBS. I will use OBS to stream. So, I mean, Martin, you, you know very well uh, how hard it is to stream something from OBS with OBS. Uh, so that, that means two instances of OBS and trying to not mess anything so it may be a recorded video i don't know i will, uh, I will uh, figure something out so normally i would go to the full screen view uh, now if i do that here uh, then you wouldn't see you would you would lose the, the bottom of the screen because davinci resolve doesn't have a way to work other than full screen so unfortunately, um, we're going to lose the uh, the old Mac uh, theme, and we're going to go to the full 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 screen uh, without uh, anything else. Right. So this is DaVinci Resolve. That's the window you get uh, when you open it. It's a bit intimidating. There are <coughs> sorry, <coughs> there are lots of resources on the internet. And um, I'm, I'm not necessarily go uh, deep into every functions. I'm just going to show you what I used to create this video. Uh, I will link uh, in the show notes a video that uh, Wimpy uh, gave me that served as a primer. Um, and then just just look for DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial on on YouTube and you will get tons of that. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, it's always easier when you have a project to actually um, do stuff. So 
Uh, so let's um, let's begin. Um, this is the the media window. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see there are a lots of uh, different windows. I think I think they call that windows. So that's the media windows. That's where we're going to uh, pick um, all the media we need. Then we're going to use the edit window just a bit. But the most part we're going to be on in the fusion um, window. So edit, it's your timeline. It's uh, things you will you would do in Adobe Premiere or KDN Live. And then Fusion is the compositor. So that's stuff you would do in After Effects or in Netron. Uh, then you've got your color correction if you want to do that. Fairlight is for the audio. Uh, the cut window, I I think it seems to be like the, um, the, the, the edit one, but a bit faster maybe I, I don't really know I haven't used that so I can't go in, into details and then the deliver window is where we're going to export our uh, video so let's go back to the media and import a few things so there are a few ways to import <coughs> to import media into DaVinci Resolve <coughs> uh, you could <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> yes uh, you could you, you can use your um, mount, so you, you would go in the project settings. I think it's in the project settings or maybe in the, uh, in the, in the settings, in the preferences here. And then you would probably somewhere, uh, I don't remember where, yes, here, media storage in the system uh, general settings, and you would add some media storage here. Or you can also open your preferred file manager and then go and and get your uh, your data from there. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to go to projects. Um, I'm actually going to save my start by saving my project. Um, DaVinci is pretty stable, but Sometimes, uh, okay, so I can't say because I already have a project with that name. That's okay. Uh, sometimes my computer is not as reliable. So yeah, I'm saving, save often. <laughs> uh, okay, so as you can see, this video was called Ubuntu on, on Air Intro and I have uh, uh, different resources here. Uh, so what we want, we want those panels uh, here. And we're gonna start with that. Oh, I have way too many, too many things here. So let's remove some stuff. I can't, okay. I think I made a, a mistake somewhere, but, oh yeah, I dragged that in the, uh, in the wrong, uh, in the wrong uh, window. But hey, we can get from here. So let's, let's get our, our first, Thing. That's that. I'm going to add that to the media pool and we're going to start with that. So let's jump into Fusion. Actually, I don't think I, I, I think I don't, I didn't need this, uh, this media thing right now that I come to think of it. Anyway, um, that's Fusion. Fusion, as I said, is the compositor. It's what you could do with um, Adobe After Effects or Natron and it has a commonality with Natron, if you've ever seen the videos I did about that, it's that it's a, um, it's a graph, edit a node editor. So we're going to see some nodes here. And, um, and we're going to start by doing something I forgot yet. In the edit view, I'm going to create a new fusion composition. That's what I need to do. And uh, I'm lazy, so it's going to be two. It's going to be called Fusion Composition 1, because why not? I'm going to drag that in my timeline. And I'm going to uh, clamp that to the uh, start of the composition. And then we'll see how long that goes. To make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to import media so that's another way to import some stuff in the uh, in in resolve so in this media pool here i can open and close with this uh, button here media pool 
I will, I'm going to right click in there and import media because I want, uh, I want slash uh, I mean, um, yes, it's in I mean, data. Pick it somewhere there. Yannick, it's me. Uh, projects uh, resolve Ubuntu on air, and I have a this audio. So I'm uh, this this audio I got. Oh, but you're not gonna hear the audio because I forgot. Oh, and I can do that. I can change that. I can go to preview control, which is here, and I can send resolve on I second audio but I think I'm going to need to do that and that's okay and I need to enable that and then you will hear the audio when there's audio there oh I'm going to turn the bedding music off so that's gonna be easier okay there's the audio I can drag and drop the audio in there oops mistake there Control Z is my friend. I need to uh, jump that to the, the beginning of the uh, composition. And now I can extend my special effects composition to the length of the audio. That's going to be a lot easier. Right. So what's, what does that do? Right, I'm going to turn the music down. So that's the audio uh, that we're going to use. Now, it's going to be a little bit uh, problematic when we go to the FX channel because we're not going to hear the music, but we're going to work around that. Um, so still in the edit window, this is my uh, fusion composition. I'm going to right click on that. Thank you for the follow, Lunar. Well, Lunar IPv4, but I'm going to call you Lunar. <laughs> um, so right click on this uh, Fusion composition and I'm going to open in Fusion page. And here we are. So there's not a lot going on here for now because it's going to get very busy very soon. We've got a Media Out 1 node. <clears throat> so this node is what's going to be uh, in the final render of this composition. So right now, of course, there's nothing. To add stuff, we're going to right click on anywhere on the uh, work, workspace, workspace, let's call it, let's call that workspace. Uh, and we, we're going to add some stuff. So add tools here, we can uh, change the scale of what we're looking at. There are a few options. Etc. That's uh, not the subject for this video. There's a lots of tutorials about that. But if you have used Natron in in the past, then you won't be very you won't be um, uh, um, uh, disoriented. So this it works kind of the same uh, as Natron. So let's go. Uh, one thing that is compli complicated here is to find your node because you need to know where it is in the menus and then go to sub menus. So that's an easier way to do that. To do that, you're going to uh, press shift and spacebar on the keyboard. And now you can type whatever you are looking for. So let's say we're looking for a rectangle. And uh, that's what we need. We need a shape rectangle, I think. I think it's or is it color? As I said, it, I, I do that from from memory, so I don't remember exactly what I did, but I'm going to find out. I think it's a rectangular shape that I needed. And now still nothing on the output because we need to connect this node to this node. So as as with Natron, the 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 nodes have uh, little plugs, or this one is a, a gray square. So that's the output of the node. And then some nodes have inputs. So this is the input for the media out. And this one has no output because it outputs to, um, to, the, to the composition. So let's try and connect those two. It doesn't work. Because this is a shape, it cannot directly render the shape to 
media output or anything that is uh, a video. So we need to transform this shape into some kind of image. For that, I'm going to hit to press shift space and add a shape renderer, so the S render here. Again, that's something you will uh, learn in uh, in various tutorials on the uh, on uh, YouTube. But know that everything that starts with S is a shape. So a shape rectangle needs a shape renderer. And if we take this uh, output from the shape renderer and drop it on media out one, it works. And look at that. We have a very not special <laughs> uh, black uh, black white square. All right, so we need to make this square um, Ubuntu Orange. OK, how do we do that? So we're going to double click on this node here. And well, it was already there. Here on the top right, you get this button here, which is the inspector. So in Natron, every, uh, in, in the uh, Fusion window, every time you click on the node, its properties are going to be displayed here. OK. Um, one thing we can do is to try and expand this uh, inspector to the bottom. And to do that, next to the inspector here, we've got a, an expand um, thingy. <laughs> I'm going to click on that, and now the, the column uh, it takes the whole uh, height of the screen. So uh, when we get to more complex uh, nodes, we will have more details. And if we want to get some space, then we can still click here, and uh, it will collapse the window. Same thing here. If we have the media pool open, we can have the media pool bigger by clicking on this thing. Right. Uh, we need that to be orange. So we're going to click on the style here and go to the color. And it might not be exactly the Ubuntu orange, but it's close enough. Uh, I, nah, it's a bit too orange. Uh, this one is better, even though it's not the correct one. Uh, I don't remember exactly the, the color code for the Ubuntu orange, but uh, if someone has that uh, in the chat, then let me know, and I will fix that. So it's not uh, big enough. That's one of the, the problems we have here. So what we can do, we can. Uh, we can go to the controls here and change the width of the and the eighth of the um, and the eighth of the um, rectangle. So let's bump the width to max and the eighth to why not? As long as it covers the the whole screen. Oh, I made a mistake. I wanted it. I wanted that to be four by three and not uh, uh, sixteen by nine. Uh, I can fix that, uh, and I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix that. So in order to fix that, I will need to remove everything from the timeline uh, and go to File, Project Settings, and then go to the project here. And I'm going to change that to uh, 720 by 486 NTSC. And 24 frames per second, why not? I'm not sure NTSC was 24 frames per second, but that's OK. Uh, I need to get my fusion composition back into the in the timeline and the audio also. I think you can hear the audio when I scrub around um, on it. Thank you for the Ubuntu range, uh, Martin. I'm going to use that uh, as soon as I fixed my mistakes. So I want the audio here, and I want the composition here to be the same size as the audio. There we go. And then open in Fusion page. There we go. Let's bring back Shift Space rect um, Rectangle. Yes, Rectangle. Shape Rectangle. There it is. If I, oh, uh, something I didn't, um, I didn't uh, say earlier. If you have, a node selected. So if I let's say I, I have no node selected here, I, I do shift space and I get a renderer, a shape renderer. It appears and it's connected to nothing. But I'm going to delete that. Uh, but if the rectangle is selected and I press shift space and I look for my renderer, 
it automatically connects to connect to the, the other node. So there we go. All right, so Martin said the Ubuntu Orange is E95420. E95420, there we go. That's the Ubuntu Orange. And we're going to go back to the control and change the width and the eighth. And there we go. Uh, something I wanted to show you also is this little thing here. And see when I get the, the mouse over S render one, there's uh, uh, one of these boxes here. And on rectangle one, there's the, this box here too. This is because we have two viewers here. And if I press, if I select a node, uh, whatever node I, uh, I, I want, and I press one on my keyboard, then it will show me on this uh, on the this side of the viewer whatever this node sees or outputs. Where's the where's the middle? It's here. All right, okay. So but right now it only shows me the same thing, but I can press one and it will show me um, whatever comes here. Okay, it's time to import our um, our uh, Ubuntu on air logo. So I could have done what I could have done was to use this node text plus or shift space um, type text uh, text plus. But my problem with that is it doesn't have all the fonts or it didn't uh, add it didn't have all the fonts when I tested yesterday so I'm using a font called cool beans and this font for some reason doesn't appear in um, in uh, DaVinci Resolve in the fusion module uh, maybe it doesn't like the format I don't know so what I did is I used um, I used Photoshop um, GIMP. <laughs> I used GIMP to create the um, mm, the plates with the, uh, the text on them. So if space and we want a an image reader. So it's uh, it's what it's uh, media in. I think yes, I think it's media in add and then. I need to do I need to do that. I probably need to do that, but there's an easier way, which is get your favorite file explorer, go to your folder, projects, uh, resolve, get your title, which is what we did earlier, uh, by the way, but I don't know where it's gone. Uh, and Drag that on the Fusion workspace. There we go. That's a media in. Now I want to show that on top of this rectangle. So I need to merge those two and have the output to media out one. So many ways to do that. As always, I can have this selected, hit uh, space on my keyboard and Grab a merge, merge node, and uh, I would have to disconnect this and then connect this to the merge and then this here to the media output. Um, it will not work. Why? Why? It will. It, oh, did I? What, what's the the foreground? The foreground is the green one, and that's the background, and it's still not working. I wonder why. I messed up. I messed something up. What? I don't know, but I did. I don't think it's uh... okay. Let me try and do that again. If I use that as the main, okay. So the main is working. So my image. Will... My image was not working, so let's go to media pool. Get that, bring that in in here. Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, 
Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Hmm. That's the uh, live stream for you guys. Stuff that should work, don't work. Uh, I noticed something here is that I probably messed up my composition because the time code is really, really wrong. Hmm. Uh, can I delete this? Yes, delete. Why is it still there then? If I deleted it. New fusion composition. Oh, I did change the format, so maybe it didn't like that too much. Okay, open in fusion page and grab our image here and connect that to media out. Ah, much better. Okay, we're learning stuff together. Let's quickly go and another renderer and another merge node. So, yes, so merge, shift merge, and merge in there. Going to use that as the foreground, that as the background, and show the results here. Yes, uh, need to change that back to the Ubuntu green. Oh, <laughs> green. No, that's not the right, uh, the correct, uh, the correct flavor of uh, Ubuntu green. And and then. That should have been on top of that. Uh, again, something is not working as I want. I expected it to work. I want that to be the foreground. Yes, I want that to be the background. And it is not working. Because I'm connecting stuff on the wrong. Uh, so I need to Connect that first, and that comes on top of the. There we go. Well, it's a good thing that it didn't work as expected because I wanted to show you an easier way to do that, and you will agree with me that we need an easier way to do that. So let's remove this merge node, which, by the way, removed my uh, uh, image node too. <laughs> so um, let's go back to the media pool, bring our uh, new image back because the media pool because we don't need that and the easiest way to do that is grab the output of whatever you want to be on top of something else and bring it to the output of the things you want to be under it so i'm going to drop this connector here and voila ubuntu on air right now there's a problem do you see the problem or actually do you hear the problem Yes, you do hear the problem because you don't hear anything. So how can we have our video in sync with the audio if we don't have any information? Well, if we go back to the edit window, there is something we can do, which is, and I'm going to have to monitor the output of that. So I'm going to need... Uh, the advanced studio properties for this for this thing. Where are they? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are the advanced studio property? Can uh, I can turn the monitoring of that output settings? Audio? No, that's not that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, that's here. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to. Advanced Studio Properties here, and I'm going to monitor only, monitor and output for that. Because now I can hear the audio. There we go. Okay. So we want this logo to, this logo here, the, the, this text to swirl when we start the video. Um, Let's have a look at how I did that on the original thing. Okay, so the first few notes, 
there. I didn't I didn't do anything, just a fade in. So we're going to add that fade in. Okay, with my playhead position where I want the, the well, I want something to happen. I'm going to press M on my keyboard, and that's going to add a marker on on the video. And now let's uh, go back to Fusion and open the keyframe window here on the um, top right of the uh, the screen. And let's uh, collapse the inspector because we need some room here. Let's have some room. We can click on this uh, icon here, zoom to fit, and that will show us the whole thing. And I think we were supposed to see, maybe we need to zoom in. We were supposed to see the, oh, where is it going? The uh, markers for the audio track. Where has it gone? Uh huh. Ah, here. Merge the. Uh, oh, I don't see the audio. I'm supposed to see the marks, the markers over here, but I don't. There's something weird. Why don't I see the markers? Oh, I know why. Because it's not a video. No, I don't know why actually. I should have prepared this. <laughs> I should have prepared this stream. Uh, to be fair, uh, because I used to have the the markers over here, and I can add the markers here. But I don't. Did I? Did I put the marker on the on the right thing? But there's a marker here already, and. Okay, let's put the marker on the audio and see if that changes something here. Well, 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 it doesn't. Surprise, surprise. Or oh, does it? Let's zoom in. I think, I think, maybe. No. I am very disappointed. I am very disappointed that this didn't that did that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Hmm. Let me let me have a look at my at my media because maybe I had something. Ah. Okay. I maybe did that. I don't know. I have something. Let me try. Well, no, that's okay. Uh, we're going. We're going to do that the old-fashioned way. So here we are at frame fourteen, um, at fourteen seconds. So I guess. Oh, is it fourteen? No, it's frame fourteen. Yes, it's frame fourteen. Okay, frame fourteen. I can work with that. Let's go there and let's go to frame fourteen here. Okay, we're going. We're going to add a marker this way because we want to, to be able to come back to that. Frame 14 is where we want this thing to start animating. Animating, sorry. Um, so we're going to go and click on Media In, bring the properties here the uh, in the inspector. Uh, hide the, key, the keyframe for a moment. We want that to zoom and turn. Like, I don't know, maybe two or three turns. Two should be enough. And we want to do that for a few, uh, maybe some something like a second or two. I don't remember exactly how uh, how long I did that on the original video. So, can we do that? No, we can't because it's an image. And the only thing we can do is basically basic stuff from an image. So, read the image. Uh, Tell when the image appears on the uh, the composition. Actually, we can say that it doesn't appear before frame fourteen. It doesn't hurt. So how are we going to do that? Well, we are going to use a very very useful node uh, by clicking, um, pressing shift and spacebar. 
And we're going to look for a transform node. I'm going to use this one, the XF transform node. Let's add a transform node in here, in here. And now if we click on transform, you can see that we have the center, we can change the size, uh, and we can basically uh, change the angle here. And that's what we're going to play with. Uh, you can reset uh, any properties by double clicking on the name of the property. Or I think I'm clicking on this button too, it resets the, uh, the property. Okay, you can see the little diamonds here on the side. Those are the uh, keyframe indicators. So uh, in a nutshell, a keyframe, it's um, a frame where you freeze a property and then between two keyframes, um, Fusion or uh, actually Resolve will try and do its best to interpolate the values. So let's have a look with uh, uh, at that. So if on frame 14, we say that this angle is zero, and then we move like, I don't know, we have 24 frames per second. Uh, let's do 48. So 48 frames plus 14. Well, let's say 50 plus 14, that's 64. Doesn't really matter. And now we want this angle, we want this to turn twice. So one and two. And two happens to be 720 degrees. And we have a orange uh, diamond here, which means we are on a keyframe. And that there's this little thingy here, which means there's another keyframe before that. And we can click on that. And we are immediately transported to frame 14. That's the current frame number. And we have the value. And now if we move our playhead here between frame 14 and frame 60 something, then fusion, uh, resolve will, or fusion will interpolate the value. Okay, let's play with the, uh, the zoom. Uh, for that, uh, I'm a bit um, perplexed as I don't have a zoom transform, so maybe I, I didn't choose the proper, the right transform. Yes, I think it's this one I need. I believe there's this one. Yes, this one has zoom. So that's yeah, that's okay. We are we're discovering stuff together. Uh, we're on thread 14, we're going to set the rotation to zero. We're going to frame uh, 64, 62, let's say. And um, we're going to give that 720. So we get the same results as before. But now if we go to same frame 14, we can set the zoom to zero. Now, problem is, <clears throat> that a zoom, a zero zoom doesn't exist. It would be an, a mathematical error to do a zero zoom. So there's a little bit of zoom here, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the on the video, but there's a little dot here, which is a, a, not a problem because we said in the, uh, the media that it doesn't appear before from 14. So right. Click in there and then use the left arrow key. I'm going back to frame, frame 13 and there's nothing there. Okay, frame 14, we have zoom zero. Let's click back on our transform, go to the end, frame 7 and 20, and we want this to be zoomed in. Maybe we don't want, maybe we don't want zoom one. So zoom one is default uh, size. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It, uh, it, it's been made to fit the screen. I think it's uh, it's not that bad. So let's have a look at that. Uh, it turns, but it doesn't zoom because I probably forgot to set the keyframe. Yes, I did. So click on the diamond here, frame 62, zoom one, go back to frame 14, set zoom to zero, and play the composition. There we go. Okay, 
two few things here. I would like that to turn for another another 360 degrees. So that's going to be uh, 1080. Okay, and I also want it to turn the other uh, side. I'm going to go to minus 1080 degrees and go back to 14 and play that. Yes, that's much better. Okay, another thing, uh, when this thing, this thing turns, it abruptly stops, which is not really natural nor very beautiful. So we're going to use the splines. So let's go to over here at the top of the screen, spline here. And what that will do, it is going to open another window. We can again click on the zoom to fit here um, thing, which does nothing because there's nothing selected here. Let's select the zoom and click fit, uh, zoom to fit here. And that shows us the um, interpolation. So how the zoom will evolve. So the zoom before the first keyframe, zoom will be zero, and then it will linearly go up until it's, it reaches one, and then it will stay there. What we want to do is click on this uh, line here. Well, no, I didn't want to do that, actually. I want to just delete it. I want to click here on this um, keyframe here and press F on my keyboard, and that will smooth the um, the uh, the interpolation. So now we go back here and play uh, press the play forward. We'll see that it will ah it's not that visible, but it it does slow down a little bit. So just that. Maybe we can extend this so that it's even more visible that it's going to slow down. Yeah, kind of, kind of. The, uh, the keyframe interpolation says it does, so I believe it. Um, and then just for fun, because we're moving uh, on a screen, we're going to add what we call some motion blur. So motion blur here, we can add just a tiny bit of motion blur. The more motion blur you, you, you set, the longer it's going to be to render. But motion blur just you know, gives it a, a nice touch. Okay, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> this is the zoom, and I was looking at the rotation. So let's do that. Let's do the same thing for the rotation. Okay, so here you, you can see when, once a property is selected, if you click on the icon, then the corresponding property will be grayed, but it will still be there, but you can't select it. And if you click again, then it completely disappears. So with the rotation selected, we hit this zoom to fit button and we select the last keyframe and we press F. And now it's going to be a lot. There we go. There we go. See, sometimes I wonder if I should really prepare the streams. Of <laughs> but I like the challenge of doing that live. Uh, if that uh if that's okay but anyway uh yes so we have the motion blur we have the smooth keyframe so the zoom is uh, is uh, key, is keyframes yes and the uh the, the rotation is keyframe too okay let's see now we need to make this thing disappear just before we make something else appear so let's go back to the edit window and see what we can do with the audio. That's where we're gonna have the first photo appear. That's where we're gonna have the second photo appear. And then we're gonna have the last part. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So that's going to be somewhere around, around here. <coughs> 3 seconds and 15 frames. 3 seconds and 15 frames. 3 seconds and 15 frames. That, oh, uh, yeah, okay. So that doesn't show me the the the, the same time. That's, where, that's why I wanted to have the... The markers but i don't know why it doesn't give me the markers i've missed something uh so we're gonna have to do some math because three seconds is three times 24. there is a way to do that more uh, easier more easily i can't even speak english uh three times 24 plus 15 that's gonna be frame 87. so if we go to fusion and frame 80 oh i was on frame 87. oh Great! I learned something. Apparently, when you set the time the playhead somewhere and go back to fusion, then it is at the correct place. Right, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot easier now. Because now I just have to add a marker in here. Just for the fun. Okay, so at this moment, that's when I want the um, next uh, the first photo to appear. So I want this to be gone by then so um, uh, we're going to zoom that out and move it down okay let's go to our transform first we're going to do the moving down thing i think it's this y position yes it is double click on position y to reset it i'm going to set a keyframe uh and i want it to be way down and i also going to click on the zoom and zoom i think i think it's not i don't know is it is it that i don't oh I, it's strange this position here it's not what i did last time uh well that's okay we're going to still use that but we're going to add a a de, 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 de. where's the blend where is the blend uh, uh, you thought I, w I had that pre more prepared shift space bar uh do we have a no there's nothing else than a transform. And I don't think the other transform has uh, something more for us. No, no, no. Ah. This is weird. Why, is, why doesn't it want to move more than that? I don't know what I did. And I thought there was a, a a way to make it. Huh. I am very, very surprised. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to save this project and we're going to open. We're going to go to the project manager and we're going to open the real one. And what did I do? in the project oh so when i did the other one i had a black audio which was a, a an audio with a, a video with audio that might be why we don't see the markers in the in the um other project open infusion page so what did i do What's that? It's a that's transform and and when we reach this thing, this here, it has a zoom zero and a position zero. And yeah, that's what I did. So, so what happened?
So what happened? I don't I don't understand. I have the same stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's uh oh there's oh okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh project manager. Let's reopen the stream demo project. Uh yes, so when you get the slider here, it doesn't bring the zoom down to zero, it stops at zero twenty-five. But if I put that to zero, then everything's okay now. Okay, it's gone. It's uh, gonna be gone. And we're not gonna see that again. We need to go back to uh we need to sync with the audio. Let's see. Yes, so that's that takes a uh, way too long. I would like the I would like the uh, the uh, uh, twirling to be yeah maybe there. So I want this to finish at this frame. Go back to fusion. I want the last keyframe to be here. Um, frame thirty six. We are on the keyframes. We need to go and check transform to the position x. Uh, can I just move that? Can I just move the keyframes? If I grab this, can I bring that here? I can absolutely do that. And I forgot to the Y position here needs to be set to zero. So double click. Yes, double click works. Okay. Mm, go back there. That appears and then it goes back. But I don't want it to go back that early. I want it to finish around here. Uh, yes. So um, back. Uh, that's when. 86, let's go back to friend, I don't know, 76, uh, 74, something like that. That's going to be half a second. Yes. Uh, and so the friend before that, we need to set the zoom. Uh, so that's transform two. We need the zoom, we need a keyframe, and we need to reset that. Okay, go back, play. Uh, probably, probably messed up everything because uh, that's what I do. I mess things up. Yes, because it does. Oh, it was not keyframe the zoom. The zoom is zero here. Okay, my bad. Then here, keyframe the zoom needs to be keyframe. Okay, keyframe one. What? Why is it not keyframe when I do that? Okay, I messed up lots of lots of stuff. I messed things up. Yes, that's what I want everything to be away. So at this point, I. I've lost again, I've again lost my keyframes. No, they are here. Okay, uh, 86, 74, at 74, at 73, I want the zoom to be keyframed as it is, the rotation to be keyframed as it is. Um, so I don't need that, but the Y position to be keyframed uh, properly. And then at frame at this frame, I want zoom to be zero. And the position to be minus zero five. And hopefully this time it's gonna work. There we go. And we have our first part. Do we still have the motion blur? Yes. Is it is it enough? Uh, it is. Yeah, we can we can 
can do with a little bit more of motion blur. The world needs more motion blur. Says the guy who doesn't like the lens layer. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the edit and see what that gives us with the audio. Yes, I like that. I like that. Now, uh, I said that I wanted to have... Uh, okay. I want this to be the beginning of the first photo. This... I'm going to set a marker here, but I'm going to set one in Fusion 2. Oh, I already, I already said it. Okay, perfect. I want this to be the third, the third uh, element. Okay. Oh, so the markers are appearing now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, the mysteries of fusion. This here, I will need another marker here, and I will need one here. Okay, let's see if we have our markers in Fusion. Yes, we do! Fantastic! All right! This should go a lot smoothly. Smooth, smoother? Yes, smoothly. Whatever. Okay, we just had this disappear. Now we want our first, um, about, uh, um, around the, uh, what's the, the key to zoom in? Yeah, that's, uh, so to zoom in on those windows, same here, I think, yes. And same here. Every window in Resolve, control and your mouse wheel will zoom horizontally. And so, yes, I'm on the marker, that's great. Uh, let's bring a photo of our good friend Monica. Uh, we go to our preferred uh, file manager and we grab a photo. And while we are here, we're going to grab the text that goes with it. There we go, okay. So we're going to have this media, we need to, well, we know we're going to need a transform. So let's uh, shift space and add a transform. Good friend, the transform here. And now we're going to merge the output of the transform with the output of the previous one. I said, we're going to merge those things. There you go, thank you. And we're going to do the same thing, except we might not, we might not need a transform for that, although maybe we do, we do. So if we do, we're going to add it later. Okay. Uh, we want, oh yes, we want uh, the text to be smaller. And to do that, we need to shift face and add a transform. What's on about that? So that's a transform here. And we're going to zoom that out a little bit okay and move it down a little bit too so let's say minus minus 0 0.3 should be okay and uh, zoom i like round numbers so five and that's okay and we're going to oh we need to start renaming stuff because media one media two Media in one, media in two, media in three. That's not going to cut it. So select a node, press F2, and you can rename that. That is um, Ubuntu on air. That is the Ubuntu on air transform. Trans transform. It would also help, help if I could write. English properly. That's uh, Monica photo. 
that's transform. Okay, that's staring. Yeah. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to pass that. And that's going to be a lot more intelligent than writing it over and over again. Transform. All right. Okay. Uh, we need this photo to we need this photo to move a little bit up somewhere like this. Can I do a round number? Yes, I can do a round number. Yes, because 0 0.15 is a round number. <laughs> I know it's not a round number, but it's rounder than 0 0.13520775. All right, let's move on. So, at this point, I want this to be um, in the in, in the distance uh, and not uh, not showing yet. So, let's have a look at our audio. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Come on here. Somewhere around here. Yes. Okay. Go back to Fusion. That's where I want this screen, this image to look like that. So I'm going to fix the. I'm going to go to the. Uh, the transformation. I want to fix the Y position, the zoom. I think it's enough. And for the text, text is not it's not doing anything. It's just going to pop. So I just want to. I, I will fix the text later. And now I go back to my marker. So that's frame one hundred and fourteen. And if I go back to the marker, which is around here. What's that button? Uh, Zomix. Okay. Um, I want I want this photo to be unzoomed. So zoom zero, but I I'm going to let it zero to point twenty five because I want to see where it goes and I want to make it go up. That and zoom to zero. And that should give us a nice interpolation between those two keyframes. Great, but we have the same problem as we had her earlier, is that it just stops. It doesn't look very, very good. So let's go back to the splines again. We want uh, just this thing. Um, yeah, I guess we can we can do both both keyframes. So if I click on this button and press F on my keyboard and click um, on this, uh, not button, keyframe, and press F on my keyboard. And now we can see that it just comes in and slows down. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. all right, now we need to deal with the, 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 this text. This text should not be here before at least I, I almost, I would almost say when the picture is there, or maybe just before that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do the easy thing, which is go back to this frame. And that's frame 86. So this text here should not appear before frame 86. Okay, if we go back there and we click on that. We have our composition, and yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's uh, a little bit too early for me. Uh, let's give it uh, twelve more frames, so uh, half a second. So that's nine 
28. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that's what I want. Okay. At this point, I want this to be gone. I want this to be gone and it's going to go. It's going to go uh, on the left. Yes, let, uh, let's make it uh, turn a little bit and go uh, out, of, out, out of frame from the left or to the left. And that's when, that's, that's when I want the next photo to appear. So that's when, uh, actually, the frame before that, I want this to be gone. Okay, let's go to the both transforms. Uh, this is going to, no, so this is just going to disappear. So that's okay. Let's go to the photos transformation. Okay. I want to set some keyframes. The X position will move and the rotation will change too. And, uh, let's say we want that to move at the second. Yes. So 159 minus 20, um, 12. 147, 148, yes, 148, that's great. The X position doesn't change and the rotation doesn't change before that. And now we go back to the, uh, let's rotate that by 12.5 uh, degrees or actually minus 12.5 degrees. And the X position, we're going to move uh, out of the way. Can I type something like minus zero seven? Yes. All right, I just discovered something. So I don't want that. I don't need that to be like far, far away. Right. Uh, um, I can have this thing, this text disappear after frame 148. And so if we check that, there we go. It moves. Okay, let's, because we can, let's add some motion blur to that. 0.3 as before, I think. It's going to be okay. Yeah, well, we didn't really see it anyway, so. Uh, because is it, is it the transform that needs the motion blur or is it the, the photo? So if I go there in the settings, uh, we don't, have, we don't have any motion blur here because we don't have a keyframe, I think. So no, it's the transform. That doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I we might have used this one earlier my it doesn't doesn't change a thing so let's not uh let's just not add any motion blur on the photos okay so we had the, the, uh, our first photo and now it's gone and now we have frame here that's when we want the um photo from reese to appear so let's get reese's photo and let's get uh the uh, text for that photo, we're going to shift space, add a transform uh, for the photo. We're going to shift space that and add a transform for the text. Okay, I was checking my stream to see if I was on the right screen because it happened previously where I streamed. Uh, uh, a lot without uh, adding the the correct window showed on OBS, so that's uh, embarrassing. We're going to merge that and merge that too. Okay, let's name those things. That's Reese Photo. Okay, that's Reese Photo Transform. Okay, and that's. Uh, and rinse. 
Okay, and that's the end response for. Okay, we're going to actually copy. I think we can copy that. If I can, if I copy that here, and then I go here, and then past settings. Ta-da! We've got the same stuff. Now we need to ah. Okay, uh, we can't paste the the settings because I think it will get the keyframes and we don't have the same keyframes. But we're going to do that by hand. Uh, we did that. We did that one one second or uh, was it one second or half a second before? So let's go back here. Uh, when did the text appear? Uh, I think shift control P pass through. Yes, the control P on the keyboard will set the node to pass through. So that means it doesn't do anything. So if the the input doesn't do anything, then the whole pipeline doesn't do anything. And so basically it disappears. So we had uh, this, we had the photo appear at frame. If I had the transform selected, that would be a lot easier probably. Yes, so at frame 86, and then the text appeared at frame uh, 98, so 12 frames uh, later. Okay, let's uh, control P on those nodes. Uh, and they will reappear, and this thing should be uh, here at zero. So we need to transform here, set the zoom to zero, uh, move that up. Yes, this hook. All right, so that's what we need, and then ha uh, half a second later, so that's going to be uh 12 frames so the 172 that's when the text should appear 172 okay and also uh at 184 which is half a second later we need to have this uh zoomed in properly and positioned properly, which is not exactly what we want. We want that to be at 0 0.15. Here we go. Did I forget to set the keyframe? But that's entirely problem because I don't see any, any marks that tells me uh, 160. Yes. Yes, I did forget the keyframe. I, there we go. Okay. What does that give us? Okay, then the photo goes back. And then this one appears. Not bad, not bad. I want to go to the next, uh, next thing here. Okay, from here, uh, yes, another trick if you want to pan this window, and it works also with the uh, the um, workspace here and the edit window here. That's the um, uh, uh, mouse wheel. Press the mouse wheel button and then go left, right, and that will drag whatever is under the under the mouse. So <clears throat> I want that at this point. So here the photo appears. At uh, this point, uh, I think that's when I want. I wanted the, this. Uh, yes, the next element. So that's when this photo is going to move. That's when Monica's photo is going to start coming in, and that's when the text below will show up. Okay. So between here and here, we want this photo to move to the right. So that means uh, we need to go to the this photo transform. 
and we need to set the zoom probably the rotation surely the x and y position maybe it doesn't hurt to have those in here and we're going to move to the next marker and i want that now to rotate 12.5 degrees yes uh maybe zoom that 0.8 and move that to the right yes 0 0.3 that's a bit too much 0 0.25 yes uh, also i want the text to disappear and i want that this text to disappear at the previous marker so here uh, that's 233 so i'm going to go to the text and say you go away after frame 233 and with that, we have our moving wreath. Okay, now we need to bring Monica back between here. Yes, between this frame. Uh, we need Monica's photo transform. It's there. I want its position to be different. Also this and also this. Also the zoom. Not the rotation, I think the rotation is okay. We need to bring that back. So, where is the wrist photo at this point? It is at 0 0.25 in X with a 0 0.8 zoom. Okay, so 0 0.25. <coughs> so, Monica's photo should be a minus 0 0.7. Uh, Minus 0 0.25 with a zoom of 0 0.8. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks okay. Yes, it looks okay. Now I did some masking uh, with the um, with the text, uh, but the problem is uh, now that I've I've told, I have told, uh, the text here is gone, so I'm going to need to copy this node, click, right click, copy, right click, paste, uh, paste, and this one too, right click, copy, right click, paste, so it's a new instance. Uh, and let's see at what point do I want this text to appear? Uh, right after that, I think I'll go back to the edit. Oh, there's something, something wrong here. Yes. Yes, something is wrong. I didn't, I didn't <coughs> fix. I did not fix Monica's uh, the location of Monica's photo. So it needs to stay where it is from here. So that's 0 0.5 in uh, y and zero in the zoom, and it needs to stay there until. We need it to start moving, which is, which is, uh, not here. I'm doing it. That's where that's where it needs to end. Okay. So do we have a Monica photo transform here? Yes. So. This needs to move. Come on, move. You too. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, that's still the position X. Yes. 
I think I messed up stuff more than I fixed stuff there. That's a control Z. Yes, that was not the right one. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Here, so the, this photo goes back, and then we need to have those keyframes. The position X, X, zoom, and rotate this. I'm going to copy values, and then I'm trying stuff here. So, bear with me. <laughs> At this point, I would like to paste those values. Can I do that? No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to do that the old fashioned way. I'm going to read those values. So, 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5 position y and zero zoom uh, i'm going to go and here the frame uh, that's 0.5 no nope, it's not because i have, don't have the proper stuff selected i'm sorry about that Minus 0 0.7 and 0 0.15. So. What? Minus 0 0.7 and 0 0.15 and zoom 0 0.8. Wait, why not? And then move to here. Ah, yes, that's where I want. That's where I want this transform to be this, the opposite of that. So minus, minus 0.25 and 0 0.15. Minus 0.25 and 0 0.15. Yes. That looks a lot better. We've got this. Then, oh, then there's a, a zoom that uh, I'm not very happy with. That's because I messed something up. Okay, uh, here we have a zoom set to one, and then here it has been interpolated, uh, and then it's moving. And so here I want the zoom to be set again, because now it's going to be properly set to 0.8 before it appears here. Okay, right. Uh, go back to our edit because we need the audio. Uh, here, probably. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to make one here, one here, and one here. And we will finish this, uh, this thing. Okay. So I add, I added this, those frame, control, control, control mouse wheel. Here, I want Monica's name to reappear. So I'm going to merge that with that. I don't think I need to transform, but what I need to do is go here and, oh, ooh. Oh, yes, it, that's because it's, I copied and pasted uh, the other one. So that's 2942, no, 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 yes, whatever whatever the, the, the last one is, is, it's there, it's the uh, frame 353. Three. So you'll go to 353, three. thank you.
Okay, I need a space that will transform. Okay, I'm going to mask a few. I want the rotate to be minus 12.5 to match the orientation of the photo. I want the zoom to be, I don't know, 0.5. Yes, 0.5 seems okay. Um, um, I don't think I can drag and drop this thing, which is, uh, which is uh, unfortunate, but unfortunate, but okay. And now I'm going to add a mask. I want a polygon mask. So I'm going to click on that. And now the polygon mask has appeared in the, uh, in the, the, the fusion node uh, thing. And this polygon I'm going to draw, draw on the screen because I want to just keep Monica's name. Uh, I did, oh, invert, okay. And why is it still down here? That's very weird, because the mask now revealed, the mask is on the transform, shouldn't the mask be on the, on the text? I believe it should. Yes. Yes. Okay. And so now I want I want to try and I've got way too many nodes in this on this uh, thing. So I'm going to remove a few of them. I really need like maybe two or four. It's doing weird stuff. It's doing very weird stuff. And I don't know why it's doing that. Probably just to annoy me. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I'm just going to use the transform and the text as it is now. I'm going to try and place that somewhere. Uh, there we go. Maybe like that, a little bit on the side. And then we're going to get this. Thank you for staying, Wimpy. And have a good uh, night's sleep. You need to be uh, fresh for another stream tomorrow, I hope. Uh, pretty soon. Thanks for coming. Transform. Another transform here. There we go. And this text appears at the next at the next uh, marker. Why don't I? Ah, uh, uh, suddenly I don't see my markers. That's weird. They appear and then they disappear. Oh, computer games, yes, very important. So I hope she beats you. <laughs> no, really. No. Ah, there are my markers. My my markers. I wondered why they were where they were gone. Uh I want so that's 299. I want this text to appear at 299. 299 and disappear. Uh same as this one. That, that's 353. 353. Okay, uh, and I want this to be, I want this to be about the same. So 12, 12, 5 for the rotation and 0, 5 for the zoom. Let's do that. Uh, 0, 5. Hmm. That is not the correct zoom. I messed up my zoom. That's my transform. Let's add a, a proper transform. There we go. Zoom 0.5, rotation 12.5 to match, and then try and place that somewhere. Yeah, it's not pretty, but hey. 
It will do. Right. Um, so I had a last thing to do, but I don't know if I'm going to have the space to do that. I'm going to use the community office hour uh, image. Uh, it's going to need to transform probably because of the zoom and stuff. So let's ha shift uh, shift space bar another transform yes go there and then move that down a little bit uh it's not working hmm. why is it not working why is it not working somebody tell me why it's not working uh i messed up the the links here the media goes into the transform, the transform, the transform goes into the merge. And now it's working. Do -do, reset X, reset Y. Go down here and zoom a little bit out, maybe a little bit higher. Okay. Right. That's it. We have our composition. Probably. Oh, community of these hours doesn't. Uh, doesn't show properly. Uh, let me fix that. Go back to Fusion. Uh, this should not appear before before somewhere here. Because that's where... Yes, this should not appear before frame 304. We go to 304 and then we go... And then we go back to edit, and now we have our, our stuff. Let's see, yes. And then, all right, I don't have the audio live, so I'm not sure if this is in sync. But, uh, well, it will have to do for now. Last thing I want to do. Uh, Last thing I want to do is go to the fusion thingy, and well, it's gonna. It, it's been a long stream already. So what I did for the, I'm going to quickly go over the the other project. So let's open the project manager. It will open on the other window. I'm going to load the original project, right? And I'm going to show what I did on this project. Go back to edit. So let's edit that. Um, open Infusion page. Right, so last thing I did, the last part I did on this thing. So you can recognize here the same thing I did uh, live on the stream. So there's the orange background, Ubuntu on air, Monica's photo, staring Monica, Christmas photo. And Reese, and then we have the uh, those text here, which are actually, if I press one on this, it's still the same text, but it has a a merge here. Oh, I see. What well, I did, uh, it's that I I I did put the ma the mask on the merge and not on the image, right? So that's that's what I did wrong on my on the stream previously. So I have a mask. So if I um, control P to pass through here. You can see that there's the whole the whole text is there. But when the mask is on, I just have the name. Uh, I realized that this should not be here. This Ubuntu on air. Where is it here? Uh, what? How do I unzoom from that? Like that. Oh, I have a, I have a text here which should not be here. Oh yes, I know. That's because I I changed it earlier. And I uh, had a look at uh, at that, which is uh, the Ubuntu on air on air transformer. The transformer. Uh, was the keyframe? It's here, and so that's zero. There we go. That's my project. Okay. Uh, and what I did, the last thing I did, the last part of this. Um, of this uh, node thing is 
here i'm going to zoom that in is that i took the output of the merge and i separated the red green and blue channels and then i used this transform and i moved slightly i slightly moved the red channel to the left or right it doesn't matter green did move and then blue to change the blue i used an expression which means if i go now here and change the value of this green then the uh, red then the blue follows which is neat uh it's something I, I might do a stream on later on but this one is already has already been long enough uh and, th and then once the uh, red, uh, red green and blue channels are shifted i then uh merged each one of them and then output the result and in my edit window i have uh i don't think it has a zoom to fit here uh, if I uh, control and mouse wheel so that we can see, uh, control mouse wheel doesn't work. That's because it's not control mouse wheel, it's alt mouse, mouse wheel. So here we have the audio, and I had a blank audio video, but I'm not sure this is necessary um, because, well, we don't see it anyways. Uh, and then I had a fade to black at the end. So that fades the uh, the video to black, and then on top of that, I have a VHS FX movie, which is um, the uh, the thing that will give you. I don't know if oh, there we go. These uh, these effects here uh, on top of the video, which makes that a old looking vintage looking video. And so if I can if I play that back, here we have the full uh, video as I did that last time. So I think I messed up something with the photos because they were not looking like that on this uh, on this stream. But anyways, so there we go. Uh, that was. Uh, let's bring back the uh, uh, this window here, and uh, let's bring the. Uh, bedding music back um so yes so there, there, that's that's how i did my um my video earlier on uh i'm going to explore it a bit more maybe um the different windows the edit um window to to do some premiere stuff or uh, kdn live stuff or video editing uh and i'm going to get more prepared next time uh, it's again it's kind of a last minute thing uh was uh yeah i was thinking you know i, I need to store that on, on the video so that i can go back and watch it uh hopefully if you're watching that uh after the the stream you're probably watching that on youtube and i'm going to put the links to the audio chat the audio file that i used uh from freesound.org and I'm going to put a link to the um, tutorial that Wimpy uh, directed me to, that helped me to start with um, DaVinci Resolve 17. It's free, by the way. It's a free program uh, that you can download, and I will put a link to the download too. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it's uh, it's great. It doesn't need lots of resources. Um, it's probably not that easy to to learn because of the graph uh, thingy but if you come from natron uh, or there's another one which i don't remember that which is uh, which uses graphs and nodes too then it's really the same oh um, blender does that blender has uh, uh nodes to uh, to do the uh rendering so yeah um uh, you, you won't be uh you won't be lost if you come from one of those um, softwares. Right. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, Wimpy, once again for uh, being there during the live stream. And, uh, well, I will come back uh, pretty soon. So uh, follow, uh, subscribe on YouTube, all that 
good thing and uh, i will see you soon bye bye